There's another way to doing it without killing any guards, and it's a little trickier, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. As you can see, I have no guns that has silencers on it. So what we're gonna do is take a bag, take my lock pick, and this is all we're gonna need. From here, we're gonna actually go through the front door. Excuse me, hello, howdy, 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 and go through the side door real quick before anyone sees us and close the door immediately. For future reference, I'm going to lock pick this door now and have that open. Take my lock pick, I'm going to go upstairs now. And do the same path as before. Since I'm going for a run to not kill a single person, I'm going to do things a little bit differently, which is I'm going to go down here and disable the alarm right away. Now this time I have to worry about the camera, so I'm going to run really close up to here, wait for the camera to turn. Let's turn, move real quick, get the thing, get the alarm, go back underneath this camera, wait for the camera to turn, move into this corner, and just like that, we're done with that room now. Now comes the very, 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 very tricky part. Try to get into this room as fast as you can with this standard lockpick to lure this guard out from behind this door and get to the manager's room, unlock it, and get the key card. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get spotted by this camera. It's gonna track the guard that's guarding the office thing. I'm gonna go out here, wait until he comes down these stairs and rush in real quick. As soon as he passes, I'm gonna go past him. Get my lock pick real quick. And try to unlock this door as fast as I can. And move into this room. That was close. Once again, I'm gonna get myself caught again. And this time I'm gonna wait. Hopefully the same guard comes. He should. I'm gonna run past them. Go up the stairs. Now that this door's unlocked, I'm gonna open it. Grab the key card. And just to be safe, I'm going to wait until this room until I see him pass and we can get past him. Now comes another tricky part. To open the vault, what we need to do is scan this card. We're going to get seen. We're going to go all the way back to this door and wait behind this door until this guard passes. The guard's going to pass. I'm going to go into this room now and wait for that guard to pass again. Once that guard passes, go back into the room. Now the tricky part. I have to get into that room, that vault door. Now we're in here. I have to unlock this door now. Just creeping forward, I can unlock this door. Go this way now. Open this. And now we're into the vault. Now you just gotta worry about the front door. All right, let's set. Take it up. And we're gonna lose $1. But now we're going to run out as fast as we can. And we're gonna walk right out the front door. Cops aren't gonna think nothing of it. Hey, excuse me, sorry. <laughs> and just like that, we did that stealthily without killing anybody. And we walked away with $62,000, just like that. And that's how you do the jewelry store heist without killing anybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, hit that subscribe button to help the channel grow, and leave a comment if you wanna see more gameplay of One Arm Robber or any other games that you would like to see featured on the channel. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.